Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. And this is How to App on iOS. And today, I'm going to be looking at Harmonious. But first, we're going to kick off with an artist who I really love. This is Just Niger. And this is Stronger. Last night, I cried myself to sleep. Cause I've been making promises I'm not sure I can keep Last night I said I was alright But I kept dancing with my demons Till the morning light And I cried Hey, 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 hey Is anybody out there also feeling the same way? And I cried, why? Why, 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 why? Every time I try to swim, my river's running dry. Just Naya. Man, she's such a talented, talented musician. I saw this on Facebook 
Hello, welcome to the show. Uh, I saw this on Facebook last week and just everything she creates is really, um, really unique, really creative. All her videos are always really clever. Um, she's Not only is she a talented musician, but she's very, very creative, like in other arts, like in drawing and painting, uh, video footage. She always creates something really interesting. She's She just has that kind of Björk feel about her, you know, that she's always thinking outside the box. And I, I'm, I'm assuming, too, that it comes absolutely natural to her. She see, You know, when you're growing up and you look at people and go... Oh man, um, how does that person always seem so cool? How come everything they do seems so cool? And you look at them and you just think, but they're so natural. It's not they're not trying to do anything. They're just naturally cool, and they really make you really unique, cool stuff. That's Naya. That's my opinion. <laughs> so I just think I think she's got that cool factor, that wow factor. So, uh, yeah. She's at uh, she's at 99 subs. So if you haven't subbed to her, go and hit her up, yeah? Go and hit her up. Get her over 100 today. That would be awesome. I'll remind you guys at the end of the show, too, if some more people roll up. Hey, what's going on? My name's Jay. This is How to App on iOS, where every day, maybe five days, seven, six days a week, who knows how many, I take a look at apps and all that stuff. Should I refresh this? Can I refresh this channel? Still at 99 subs. I sound like hippie. Boom. Get over. Sub her up to Sub her up, folks. Get over 100. I'm not moving on with the show. Um, yeah. So every day we look at apps and creativity, interviews, all this kind of stuff. And, and, and to, to help you get better, do better things, make mistakes, you know, all that kind of stuff. And today is no different. Did you know we have a Facebook group? You can always join that at any time you'd like. It is We All Rise Together over at Facebook. I think we're getting up to like 130 members, which is really cool. Um, YouTube, here's the link here, youtube.com slash jstar. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Please hit the like on this video and do all that fancy stuff. The show is telecast daily over at the Twitch at twitch.tv slash howtoapp on iOS if you prefer to watch over at Twitch. And I have a Patreon uh, at patreon.com slash jadestar where every week master your songs, give away some apps, which we're going to have some good giveaways this weekend. And this week we had a, a kind of special little seminar on vocal techniques, on using uh, microphones, on recording techniques which went for about 40 minutes. So that was a little cool thing that we've just started over on the Patreon and all that jazz. Let's say hello to folks in the chat today. It's Monday morning. I didn't want to get out of bed today, so I don't blame a lot of people if they're not here today themselves. Um, Tremor Bear is here. Hello to you. Gregory O'Sullivan. And of course, how can I forget? Dr. Zorders. See, the original and the best Dr. Zorders call out. There is. Don't take imitations like Pete Johns' as Dr. Zorders. It's not as good, folks. <laughs> uh, uh, who else is here? Russ8889 uh, is just sitting back listening. I mastered another one of Russ's songs on the weekend, too, for his forthcoming album. John David Lees, hello to you. Brad Example, g'day, my friend. Uh, <laughs> this is about all that's here right now. So... You will have noticed, yeah. Hey, thanks all for being here too. I know today's app's a, it's a, it's a, it's not a big fancy one or anything like that. But I can let you know uh, off the bat, it's it's free. That's important to a lot of people. So I'm trying to have more free apps on the show, so you can download it for free. But we'll get into it. But uh, what you may have noticed, if you look at my iPad, I have finally updated to iOS 15.2 exciting stuff and for somebody who hates widgets i despise widgets i hate them i'm actually getting used to this so i spent a bit of time messing around with my ipad setting it up so i had the most important widgets on the front of my ipad and i think they're really helping and i i actually like the look of it now it feels different so up here i have my email which is constantly changing. Um, my clocks, these are the, probably the most important thing. That's why they're dead center. So I have my Melbourne time, London, New York, Los Angeles. So I know what's going on with times around the world. And when I click on it, how cool is this? It has all the times 
of uh, the majority of subscribers to this channel. So, you know, the usual times. Then we have uh, Saigon, Ho Chi Minh City for Ron Ward, Berlin for people like Welton Kinder and people in, in Germany, Brussels. So it's got all the, the places for all the important people across the globe who do frequent this channel. That's really cool. I like that. Um, the weather I have up the top here so you guys can see just how fucking hot it is every day here in Australia. <laughs> It's not too bad at the moment, it's only 18. And this little cool widget, how good is this? So this has my photos, my notes if I need to get to them, my Google Drive, which I use every day to send files to people, um, the App Store, so I can open nice and quick, my calendar, what's happening, people's birthdays, when I get paid, all that stuff, um, my news, um, my files app, and, and my music. And, you know, I really thought I would hate widgets, but these this amount suits me fine. It's really cool. And underneath, I have absolutely the most important things I use every day. So my calendar, the these three apps here, the Studio, Pixelmator, and Documents. That's what I make to use, all my, uh, use to make all my graphics. GarageBand, Aurea Pro, AudioShare, AUM, LumaFusion, Music, Photos, and my uh, Google Drive. And that's it. And everything else is slowly getting put into folders over here. So I have a whole lot of folders I'm building up. And uh, by the end of the next couple of days, everything will be nice and neat in folders. And I feel organized. And you know what's really cool? I'll touch on this before we get into the app because I think, I think this is the best thing about iOS 15.2. So far, it's been really stable. But this is awesome. So let's open up an app here. These three dots, yeah, up the top, this, how they've changed the multitasking, because I do use the multitasking a hell of a lot, because uh, at the end of Patreon shows, I've got to give codes away, so I normally open like a web browser with Patreon, and then a notepad with the, the, uh, the um, code, so I'm just copying and pasting across, or sending emails, like, a, you know, I'll have Google Drive and an email open. But it used to be really clumsy because you would have to like go down here and then drag the other thing up and it was really clumsy. But what they've done with multitasking is wicked. So now, I don't know if you're all, all aware of it, but I'm going to go over it quickly. These three dots, when you click on them, you're given these three little selections here. Plus, you can add a new window down the bottom here, which is really funky. Right, so you can hit this, and look at that. It just moves it to the side, and then you get full reign to grab any app that you want to bring up. I love that. It's so much more intuitive. So straight away, I can immediately bring up uh, Files app, and it splits it straight away. That is so cool. And I can bring something. I can actually bring something else into the mix. So I can bring a side panel in. If I touch above here, and then hit this little side panel, I can move that to the side and have this over the top. It's just so much easier. It's something I'm, you know, I've been hanging for for such a long time. And with these, just put it straight back. You can swap them around. I really love this implementation. I think it's really, really cool. I think they've done a great job of finally using this. Yes, Jade and my organ. We're going to have a look at the organ uh, right now. So let's talk about it. This is, uh, we'll open up the App Store and have a look at it here. This is Harmonious. As I said, it's absolutely free. Lost in the 70s, uh, made this app again. So, you know, they've made a whole lot of these uh, little little uh, replicas of old school organs and such. Uh, so, you know, I mean, you're crazy not to download it because it's only 27.2 megabytes. It's really small. It, it's very specific. It does its job nice and easy. So, and you know, it's one of those things that you can just install, use it, and then offload it if you don't want it. You know, nice and simple. It has one job and one job it does good. <coughs> and that's what we want, yeah? Uh, because not everybody has the space to download, you know, huge apps and all that jazz. So it is free, yeah? Um, oh, you know what I want to touch on too? You know, I, I never thought I would use this thing, this shelf this app library, but I find this incredibly easy to use to search for an app this way. Hit cancel, get out of it, and just do a search just by tapping there. 
I much prefer the way they've added this shelf thing in uh, iPad than iPhone. iPhone, it sucks. Anyway, so let's talk about exactly what Harmonis is. So it's a replica of the Magnus Harmonica Corporation's, what is it, Harmonis 300 or something like that. Interestingly enough, my nan had one of these, one of these in this one, the exact same one that it is, in her lounge room when I was growing up as a kid. And I remember playing it. It's the exact same thing. It's so weird seeing this now on my iPad and remember the, remembering this grotty old organ my nan used to have in the corner of the house. And, and she'd always be like, don't touch the organ, it's too expensive. It's like now looking at it, it's probably way more expensive to buy now than, than back then. So I think it's from like 1970 something, 90, 1970s. And this company, funnily enough, who uh, made this, uh, it's interesting. The Magnus Harmonica Corporation were formerly the International Plastic Harmonica Corporation. So they were actually founded in 1944, this company, yeah? And um, the, the funny thing is here, where is it? They got bought out by the World Book Encyclopedia. And that's when they stopped making these mother these suckers. So people who used to come and knock on your door trying to sell you those bloody encyclopedias when you were young. And I'm sure there's some people who were old enough to remember the encyclopedia door salesman. They were the people who bought this out and stopped its production. Bastards. <laughs> But here we are in 2022 and we're able to recreate this thing on our iPads, which is pretty cool and for free. And there was a whole lot of different models. So this is modeled off the 300, which was the original one. This one here, this tabletop model. And there was all these um, other editions that came out. Even a Disney edition. Look at that. In the late 70s. I wonder if there's a photo of that. A Disney edition. What the hell? Um, hello to folks who've joined us. Audible Video and Mark EFX. Good to see you. If I, I don't think I've missed anyone. Cool. Yeah, man. We had a, a world book encyclopedia when I was a kid as well, too, Wal. And you know what? Funny story. My mum decided to get an old English sheepdog. And those things are giant. Giant. Right, a massive sheepdog, and it was a pup, but it was still like you know four foot high. And she stupidly came to my school to pick me and my sister up from school, and left the dog in the lounge room. And when we got home, the entire world book encyclopedias had been eaten, absolutely, and was strewn all across the room. And those things weren't cheap, man. Encyclopedias. Those things were like back then in the day, what, $300, $350? Or you paid them off on a payment plan. How evil. Anyway, so that's the history of the organ that we're, that we're playing with today. Well, shall we open it up and uh, have a squeeze at it uh, in AUM? Here it is. This is the interface. It's very simple. There's really not a lot to go over. <laughs> So, hello Kim, welcome aboard. So this, uh, to kick off with, it is, you've got the option straight away to split the keyboard. It's one of the features of it. I don't really find it um, something I'm going to use. So, to the side here, you've got this split section with a tick in it. And when you uh, select that, and uh, you can actually see, you can here's where you can actually do the splits from. So you can go in here and decide where you want to split the keyboard. If we have a look at the keyboard here. So they're, I think they're major chords. So that's where the split is, right up the middle. So that's the split setup right there. Now you can go in and change that. So we could uh, take this down to like, what's this? 55 would probably be C. Uh, and you can uh, click on it and type the number in if you want, if you prefer. So that's nice and easy. Mm -hmm. 
It's probably a bit uh, higher than that. What is it? 50, 60. So there you go. So 60 brings it to middle C if you prefer to do that. But I prefer the uh, option of turning off the split. I think it's it's much easier for me to try and hold down chords myself. Cool. So it's got that very, very, very old school organ sound as you would expect. Um, now you have volume for the chord, so you can, if you've got the split set up here, you can control the volume of the chords. So I had them down a little bit there because I find when you've actually got the split happening and you're playing the individual notes uh, on the opposite side, It's good to have the volume down a little bit for the chords because they kind of get a bit lost with each other. Um, so these, these are your two volumes. You can turn down the chord volume or you can turn up just the main, main volume there. Um, you also have the option to uh, send the chords to a, a different MIDI channel. So you can do that. You can uh, change the melody to a different MIDI channel. You can transpose on here as well if you don't have like a... Um, external keyboard and all that jazz so you can transpose the chords the octave chords the octave melody and semitones you actually have an adsr here as well too which is yeah okay let's uh turn it up So a nice addition, something that you wouldn't get with the original uh, thing at all. Let's just uh, bring the volume up a little bit on this. Uh, the other thing that you get too, and remember it's free, so uh, all good. You don't have to waste any money on this if you want to try it out. Also what you get here is you've got some effects built in, something again you wouldn't get with the original. So you do have an EQ here, if I turn this on. I'm just gonna turn off the uh, splits again. So you've got an EQ there uh, to mess around with, to your heart's content. You notice when you actually um, mess with the EQ, it feels like it's, um, I'm, I'm sure most of you would have headphones on, it feels like it's panning. I'm getting some, so that's interesting. Anyway, we'll turn that off. You've got a tremolo. And you can make it a nice stereo tremolo. Mess around with the speed. And the amplitude. Uh, you've also got a reverb. Turn off the tremolo. And then nothing fancy or anything like that. So, you know, but it's nice that they're in there. And you have a chorus. Thank you. 
That's the first song my nan ever taught me. <laughs> on this very organ that used to be in her house when I was a kid. Uh, what is it called? Oh, can you wash your father's shirt? Oh, can you wash it clean? Oh, can you wash your father's shirt? And <laughs> I think I was like six when my grandma taught me that. Never forgotten it, though, you know? Uh, how can you how can you forget such a hit song like "Oh, can you wash your father's shirt"? I should do a death metal version for FMC and call it uh, "Oh, can you wash your deceased, rotten grandmother's corpse's shirt"? <laughs> or maybe not. So that's it. It's pretty. It's pretty simple stuff. There's not much to it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> There's no presets or anything like that, but you can save presets if you want. So it's all good. It sounds really good, of course, with... Uh with Black Hole, it sounds wonderful. And that's good too, isn't it? Yeah? Because... It, um, and, and I'm going to open up some projects I've made. Um, so it's not going to be a long show today because this is... Uh Pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, show's over. Nothing more to see. No, I'm gonna um, sh make some, put some projects on using some of the other Lost in the Seventies apps and and another little project as well. But uh, look for free, perfect. I see so many people complaining that there isn't like a harmonica or anything like in GarageBand. So the, here's your thing. This is you know close to a kind of accordion. You can fuck with it a bit and make it sound a bit like that. Again, what are you gonna do? It's free. Buy it. Pay, pay the money. Don't be tight. So I'm going to open up this project, which I made last night. So this is a little bit complicated. It's got a few things running in it. Um, of course, I'm running Zoa because I love Zoa so much. Zoa is awesome. Um, let's see if is this going to load everything. Ah, oh, man, what's going on? I know why this isn't loading. Let's do this uh, sample tank. So this is a new thing that I've discovered since iOS 15. For some reason, uh, some interapp audio apps won't open inside um, of AUM unless you open them first. Very interesting uh, development. So basically, what I've got, hello Mark Bro. What I have here is two Zoa, pro Zoa projects. Here's one, and this is connected to uh, Monus. Uh, it's connected to Torero, which is another app by Lost in Seventies. Uh, another, uh, uh, we've got iSymphonic. I've got Sample Tank and Acoustic Guitar. Then I've got another Zoa connected over here. Hello, Pete Johns. Um, so uh, you'll like this one, Pete. This is pretty cool. It's free, so you can grab it. Um, this Zoa is connected to uh, Hammerhead. It is connected to uh, slammer and it is connected to a so I've got a guitar connected it's also connected to House of Mark and a sax so let's um, play with Zoa first I'm gonna bring in uh, what do we do let's do it this way let's turn all of these down that would be a good start and we'll slowly create something built around this Harmonious app uh, using Zoa, yeah? Shall we do it? I think so. Uh, let's do it.
Good fun. Hello, Thomas Christ. Hope you're doing well. Uh, yeah, if you had paid attention there, Audible Video, I saw your little sniping from the distance. Everything there is in Golden Quarters and Golden. So I'm using the new update from ZOA, uh, which I talked about, uh, what was it, last week? Um, so yeah, it has these amazing uh, Golden uh, settings. Uh, which is really cool. So there, it's impossible to set timings to these because uh, if, as, as you can hear here, what can I do it with? Uh, we'll do it with um, maybe the guitar. So this guitar is actually in golden quarters. And if I turn on the metronome, as you can see, it's in 120 BPM, and I turn on the metronome. No, nah, it, it doesn't. Yeah, it's 1.618 or thereabouts. But yeah, it's not in time. But they're amazing. It's a, it's a fantastic golden ratio that uh, has been added to, to ZOA. And I implore you to go have a look at it if you have ZOA, because it creates some really magical sounds. Well, there you go. That was just like built from the basis of using uh, this organ. So I'm going to open up something else now. What else do we have? I've got a drone here, yeah, which I made yesterday. Uh, so uh, what's really cool is you can make a really cool drone with this organ. So if we open this up, I'll make sure the metronome is off. So I have uh, three instances here of Harmonious running. I've got a drum computer and ZOA, and uh, ZOA is controlling, I do believe it is controlling uh, this instance of Harmonious, and this first one here is just a drone, so I'm gonna kick it off uh, with a drone by uh, hitting the keyboard down here because it's connected to the keyboard, make sure hold is down. So let's kick off a drone. And what I've got running on it, as you can see here, is you'll piss yourself if you, if I get a copyright for what? What will I get a copyright for? Um, so is this is uh, Alteza, and I've got an instance of Rim de Guerre. And if I take these out, it sounds pretty boring, yeah, by itself. So these are what I've added to give an interesting drone. We'll add some more notes in here, shall we? Or we'll do it as we go. So we'll bring in uh, this that I have of Harmonious with Zoa. And what I've done is I've taken the offset down here to a whole octave to give a real bassy violin kind of sound. Um, where are we? Why am I not getting any sound out of that? Oh, I have that over here. That's on this one. Sorry. There we go. So we've got this to accompany the drone. And now on this track, I have the key step attached.
Russ. <laughs> How can it sound like your local kebab shop? You live in America now, you fool. <laughs> Holy shit. So look, it's it's a really cool app, it's free. And you know, this is again mucking around for a few minutes and you can create something really nice like that. Is it really nice? I don't know. It was good fun for me jamming around yesterday. What can you say? It's free. And <laughs> it sounds like Russ's local kebab shop. So it, I guess that's a, a, a glowing re review. You know, you should go and put that, Russ, up on the app store. Go, <laughs> go and review the app and <laughs> just put that. Uh, uh, nice one. So there you go. It's, it's a really fun app. It's absolutely free. You're crazy not to download it and just have a message. Let's see if it fits in with your uh, creations, your 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 music, whatever you are making. And if not, you can just delete it. You know what I'm saying? So another cool app by Lost in 70s. It's always making some really interesting emulations. And that's really nice to have all these really old school things at on tap whenever we want them to add to our music what is coming up on the rest of this week we've got some really cool things happening for the rest of this week if i load up my photos app now what is happening tomorrow we're looking at this tomorrow the matrix vocoder so it's an older app by Verson, and um really cool uh vocoder uh, I kind of got inspired to look at this app after getting the uh, the Micro Freak with its vocoder. Uh, so I wanted to find some software on iOS that did vocoders really well. And this does it really, really well. So join me for that tomorrow. The day after that, we are looking at Beatly Pro. It's a music generator. It's really cool, really cheap. And um, if you're kind of, uh, if you're using GarageBand and you're absolutely sick and tired of using the loops that are in there, this is an incredible loop generator. It actually generates orchestral music, uh, chip tune music to, uh, to hip hop kind of stuff. In the click of a finger, it is really unbelievable how cheap this is and how amazing this really is. And you can export MIDI files, audio files, stem files. It is really, really cool. Worth your time. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening the day after that, but I can let you know at the end of this week, we've got a big one. We've got Michael Tyson from Tasty Pixel, and we're going to have a chat about Loopy Pro and Audio Bus and all of the amazing things he has been involved in. Uh, he, I mean, he's a game changer for iOS music. He, he's, you know, he, he's one of those people that has made our life easier. And Loopy is one of those apps that is uh, going to be that kind of thing in 2022. And guess what? Friday's show is sponsored by DistroKid which is really cool to have DistroKid on board for a whole bunch of interviews coming up this year. So that is it for today. I hope you'll get something out of downloading this app, yeah? Because it's really cool. And I hope you have a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. Do the things that make you happy. Mistakes make us better. And you know what? Let's all rise together. Because it's better than sinking to the bottom all alone. Yeah? Have a great day, folks, and I shall see you tomorrow. Boom! Oh, shit! Hi, Cam! Bye, Cam. I just saw you in the chat. And see you on. Sorry, guys. See you, Cam. <laughs>